Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to look at setting up our customers in Craftmaker Pro. So if we go into our customers section, and in here we again have our list view, so we have a customer here we'll use as an example. If you want to add a new one, simply click on add new up here. So we'll click into this current customer, fill in the information for your customer, their company, first name, last name, address details, etc., and their state and country. Uh, put in the phone number for them, fax, email and web, any comments for that customer. If we go to their shipping address, and if it's the same as billing, simply click on same as billing. Go to the pricing and other tab. And in here, the important parts to look at in here are whether the customer, you can set whether they're a retail, wholesale or direct customer for the pricing. Um, you can enter alerts for birthdays, anniversaries or other dates. These can always be useful for repeat custom so that if you actually know specific dates for customers, you can have an alert come up in Craftmaker Pro to remind you to contact them around those dates. Good for follow-ups, good for marketing and touching base. And the state for them as well. So the state that your customer is in may be different to you, which may mean that there are different tax rates that need to be applied. So if you select their state in here, and Craftmaker Pro will take the tax rate applicable to that area, and then we'll use this tax rate as the default on any invoices that are created for this customer rather than your default tax rate from admin. But again, you can always override that on an invoice level if you need to. Okay, and then down the bottom for the customer, we have a list view of all the invoices that have been created for any customer. So you can see all their invoices for any customer. You can scroll through here. You can click into the details if we were to go into here and we can see the details of any invoice for the customer at any time.